every year something happens that I never thought of. It's too soon to feel happy, proud, sad, glad. I won't be relieved until I get to Seattle. That's when the season ends for me. It's the final... so much right here. What's that, Spit? Nothing. We're doing your interview. I'm not dying, so just let that go. I'm gonna let my family see that. Outside Dutch Harbor. Sure. 
Radio. Tank needs to keep us cool as he closes the final chapter of his first full year as captain. Big compression build, Doug. That's when I get upset. That definitely affects the people around me, which I don't like. I think my goal is that no matter what happens, that I can remain calm. Alright, go this right here. You guys ready to go? Alright, let's do this. Yeah. Bring it back. Hopefully, there'll be something in it. It should give me plenty of crab. Mm-hmm. Just slivers. Pods coming up empty. The prospects for a triumphant ending to the saga season are slim. I'm trying to stay calm, but I really don't have the time. I need to get these pots on 50s, 100s, 200s, 300s, whatever I can get them on, and I need to get them on right now. Everything has to go right, and everything is starting out that it has not gone right. Jake takes a call from his cannery. You want to come by on Saturday at noon tomorrow? Tomorrow at noon? With me? <laughs> yeah, I'd say one o'clock at the least. So uh, we'll probably be out of crap by that. I just, uh, I just hauled my first drink, and I'm 100 miles away from you. As the season winds down. If you want, uh, we have a spot Sunday. Yeah. So do the boat's options and time slots to offload the craft. Today's Friday. So I just shove it and then I just bolt. I take my 75 pounds. I'll just do Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Um, if I can get Monday, that would be better. But I'll, I'll, I'll get there it's, it's, uh, whenever you tell me that I, I can get there. I thought three days, the cannery in control. They need crab, so they'll pull in every boat they can to keep the plant fed so that they don't lose revenue. We're just the, we're just a pond now. With an offload sooner than expected, the young captain will have to catch four times his 20,000 pound daily average to fill his boat. Hey, go uh, Meet me in the galley. Everybody. Every single line of my head. Ready to hear the deal? Yeah. Uh, we're not not again. We have to offload on Sunday. For what? That's our offload day. They're pulling us in. Oh, you know, well, I don't have any crap. Today's Friday. We have to leave tomorrow morning, so. 
Let's hope we can get 80,000 pounds and it won't be done. <laughs> they gotta stay cool and they gotta stay focused. There's too much at stake. <laughs> No time to waste. There's the cross right there. I'm going to take this string and just lay it right in there where nobody's been. Out of time. We'll stack on and then we'll take. Jake will move all 75 pots further from the fleet and hope for a miracle. I just don't, I just don't see how on earth I can get 80,000 pounds in 24 hours. It's going to be a feat. We're at the mercy of the processing plants. The team of EMTs transport Captain Sig Hansen from the airport to the hospital. Absolutely horrible. 
find Deeper on the way around. So, get a real search. I stack this and then, uh, really find something. That's pretty bad. Not content to drive on low numbers, the rookie will stack and look for more purple browns. One more than the last one, though. You know, he was the king of crapish for a long time. And I want to be in the running for that. You know, I want to be one of the best of the best. It's uh, Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. 
God. Yeah. This thing's ticking. We ain't got no time for a cat squad. A diddly squad. We really need a chamber lock. This next bomb comes up like you forget a mohawk. You guys might be getting mohawks here real soon. <laughs> yeah. Next spot. Oh, we gotta get a mohawk, buddy. <laughs> a tradition on the Bering Sea. <laughs> mohawks are an offering to the crab gods for luck. <laughs> I want to see some heads, some scalps. I don't want to hear the loose for just like day fishing. It's already blood and sweat for his boat. We're about to go back home where my hair is actually useful. Start. Then we're better be ready. This is gonna be awesome. This is my god. There we go. Well, in the meantime, Andy Park is not. So excited.
five miles northeast. On the 108-foot Cape Cod. Sets up another test of Bill's son, Zach Larson. So will Zach fix this? Will Zach be in the middle turning wrenches, or will Zach stand there and watch Nick fix the mechanical breakdown? I'm not going to say anything, but we'll be able to see it here, right out the window. Yeah, I need somebody just a handy tool, and I'm going to go up there. All right. Again, something breaks. We got a doer and a watcher. Nick being the doer and Zach being the watcher. A couple of nuts in there, what a surprise. Yeah, up there, I coordinate stuff down here. Should work out pretty well. I'm sure Nick can fall right Trying to make him a captain. It's almost the end of the season. Zach is so far from being ready to do this, it's scary. For the last year. This isn't a race to me, though. I don't know. I was sure cut from a different mold. Bill was focused on furthering his son's career. There's a good chance that I'm going to invest in a boat that I'll run for a while and then eventually he can possibly buy it back from me. And so far, Zach hasn't shown a lot of interest. If Zach doesn't pursue more knowledge, I will not buy a boat. If he was up here, 
Murphy wouldn't have a clue. You know why? Because it asked me one time on season, where do you sit? Why do you sit? How do you sit? It hasn't asked me once. And I'll tell you for sure, if he doesn't put some effort in over the next day or so, it's gone for at least another year. Hey, Zach, what are you doing? Instead of wasting another hour, fix it. Thank you. coming today that is like, do you want to do this, or are you afraid of doing this, or you don't have any plans on doing this? There's only so much time left. Yep. Here we go. Almost 
تنظیم ہے Alaska. <laughs> Captain Sig's wife, Yuna, and daughters, Nina and Mandy, arrive from the lower 48 states. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, let it go. We're making a move for a reason. 
or into it full swing. That's what it's going to take to turn this thing around. Having no luck out south, Captain Wild Bill Wachowski moved all 60 miles north in search of the elusive paradigm grab. Hopefully we get some crab in these. Yeah! We're right to the final days here. This is where you need to come back. I mean, you need to get up to the line and start throwing long balls, and that's kind of what we did. Go Rambler! Woo! I'm not going to catch any crap. That's the way on that one. I have to. Otherwise, we don't get out of here. On the final lap of a long season. Okay, we lose Fizzy Barry. Uh, hopefully, it pays off. I mean, if it doesn't, we don't want to be up in the chair. Some unfinished business remains between father and son. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to help move him along in his career and get him up to the wheelhouse, but but I don't think Zach's come up for the entire season to ask the question. I guess the hard part for me is, if I told Nick that Nick, if you spent the season up here talking to me, you'd be captain at the end of the season. I wouldn't be able to get rid of the son of a bitch. We have a part of a trip left. But it's time to figure out if he wants to do this or not. Because I feel like I'm wasting my time and my concentration and energy. And if he doesn't want to do it, what am I doing? There he goes. Hey, These are over in the deck of your exact when he's come up to the wheelhouse. We're going to go over about where and why we set this. Somebody's gonna start running the load. No, I'm sorry, to me, I'm so kind of father of the son of Adam. Stop looking for your dad out here. Or any kind of family for that matter. I don't want my dad for either. And the kind of dad, they want the teeth or something, yeah. You know, it's kind of bad, I don't know. Okay, so I'll back in the house. This, uh, we just made this move and it's crunch time, so Greg, I'm going to show you what I did. There's been a lot of times that I've wanted to share some information, and for some reason, you haven't really spent the time up here. You, am I wasting my time and thought, do you want to do this or not? I don't get it. You're right. I, there's something deep in you 
No, I think both of us. You're your mother's child. Okay. You are your mother's child. All right. I worked as much as ten and a half months when I was living at home with you guys because I thought the key to happiness and success was send enough money home and your mom had a cleaning lady, you guys had a nanny, you went to private school, and it wasn't the answer. It was absolutely the wrong answer because I wasn't there. And all it did was tear the family apart. I don't know. I'm me, and I can't change it. And I know I wasn't there, but I'm here now. advancing your life. You tell me you can't learn from me, then I guess you can't learn from me. I don't know what else to do. Sorry I let you down as a dad. So, whatever your plans are, good luck. I don't, I don't understand how you plan on proceeding with this. Oh, 
thousand pounds. I've got about thirteen. Yeah, I'm not getting anything out of this train. Absolutely nothing. Still needing 880 crab per pot to reach 80,000 pounds. I don't have enough time to fill the boat. Jake's luck finally runs out. That delivery date completely screwed me. I am now definitely coming in short. Blood pressure rising. Blood pressure rising. Stay calm. My guys are under pressure too, so I don't, I want to remain calm for them. No, we're, we're doing a good job with what we got. You guys should be proud. Hey, fellas. We're obviously not going to get our 8,000, so stack it. But let's go ahead and give it our all. We're going out strong. Fight to the very last second like it's the Super Bowl. It's a Woo! Woo! Let's go get them. Try it, fellas. I'm going out strong. Alright, so for birthday cake, steak, flaming hooks and firecrackers tonight. I'll be lucky if I can get it. Two smiles out of the boys. Come on! really proud of them. They, they really pulled through. And... <laughs> Jake brings in 470,000 pounds of Ophelia, 30,000 pounds short of his quota. But each member of his crew will still pocket 25,000 bucks. We should all of us go home. We can't all of us go home with our heads on high because of what myself and the crew have done to get as far as we have. Devastating? Yes. Humbled? Yes. Down? Never. Coming up on the Bernard Grounds. Oh, the Brenna A. It's two in the morning. Wake up, come out here, think I'm all by myself. Nope, not the case. Lots of boats out here now. After moving 50 miles away from the pack to find fresh grounds, there's blips on the radar. Pots next to mine. Captain Sean Dwyer wakes to find the pack has followed him. They're just pouring in. They're one after another. And I know that as soon as they get in here, they call all their buddies. There's going to be even more boats in here. So we got to get them quickly. 
just a few hours ahead of his competition. Wake everybody up. Keep going. John presses his crew into action. Time to get up. You're rolling. There's guys working all around us. We just can't slow down. Don't waste any time out there. Let's do it. Those boys are tired. I know they are. But I pretty much gambled my parents' business to get this boat out here. There's a lot on the line. As the numbers stand right now, we've only got 15 Nice fresh start, but with any fresh start, you just don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully that 15 or 20 K is in the gear. If it's not... Good-looking pot. Uh, it looked really good. Grab it, trap! Well, I'm going in that tank. Well, I can hear it. Ting, ting. Crab going in the hopper. Good sound. Two, four, two. That's awesome. Money coming over the rail. Another one. Numbers like this, man, we're not stopping. We got to grind on these things. You guys know my policy. Come on, go as fast as possible. Skipper sets directly back on the school below. You gotta get these things. Get them before the next guy does. Scoop up and remain quota before the fleet beats him to it. Woo! Yeah. We gotta fill these tanks. And they're not gonna fill them now. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Sig Hansen continues to undergo testing. I can't play doctor any more than they can play fisherman. So. First, what they say. Huh? Yeah, it's been a couple of days since we got the news. Uh, we're waiting for him to uh, to be able to get let out so we can get everyone home. Um, it was pretty devastating hearing it, getting the call. You never know when you're going to get that kind of call. It was a shock. I didn't want to think about death like that could happen, but 
you don't think it's going to happen to you or somebody close to you, so we'll talk about that. You never know the last time you're going to see your parents either. So being able to get that last trip and being able to see what my dad does and having him teach me uh, the ropes out there means a lot. I'm just more than thankful that he's still here, he's still alive. Uh, what he went through, went through those people pass away, so. Things aren't going to be the same ever again for him. Doctor said it was lucky because most people don't even get a chance to get to the hospital. It could have been a big, big one. And it's like I know I have everything to live for. I mean, we got everything a guy could want. Sure makes you think how precious life is, how fast it is. It's like that.
It's looking school crowd here, I'll tell you. School is in session. Some of these guys look like they got held back in a couple of years. All right, good one. 244 feet per barrel. Ow! <laughs> There's what it takes, my friends. 
was the last of his spots. The eight-week guy, Skipper harvested 500,000 pounds of Helio crab. Earning his Mohawk crew a $60,000 cut. Yeah, baby. One, two, three, three, baby. One, two, three, baby. Everything makes me happy. Had a successful season. I got, I got one thing to do here. We got our flag. Look at our flag up there, man. Stop everything. Let's put, let's put a new flag up. Don't let it touch the ground, sir. Thank you, Axel. Have the guys help. That's what a shooting player. Red, white, blue, best colors there is. Okay, I think we're getting close here. There it is. Proud to be American. God bless America. Thank you, Axel. Thank you, Eddie. That is amazing. It's not beautiful. Time to go. This one's over. 50 miles east. And eight hours later. On the Brenna A. Yeah, that's the last spot. Last spot. That's it. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah, my just about to ask that. Oh, yeah. Uh, Good thing. Good job, boy. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, we got it. My plan when I saw those boats move in was to just move faster than them. Woo! Every one of those crabs that went in that tank, we worked hard for. Captain Sean Dwyer reaches the end of his last haul. Damn, boy. There I am. There I am. It's a great ending, you know. You always want to end on a good note. This is ending on a great note. I mean, it is just fantastic. Woo! Topping off a successful crab season at the helm of his family boat. It's cool. It's a big deal for me. This is, I'm going to be here next year. This is, uh, you know, I can do it. I did it. Pretty epic paradise season. Sean's done a hell of a job. Over a two month grind, the young skipper took in 310,000 pounds of paradise. After <laughs> sticking it out, the crew will walk away with over 28,000 bucks. All that goes My parents started this business 30 years ago, but when my dad passed away, it all fell into my lap. He probably never would have expected his son, at 23 years old, to come out and catch half a million pounds of Western Paradise his first season, you know. That's something to be proud of there. Bedford skipper Sig Hansen takes the top of the podium with rookie Josh Harris and veteran Jonathan Hillstrand close behind. Time bandits. I don't like witches. Scared, scared clowns and witches. As Jonathan leaves behind the terrors of the deep. Wow. Real clowns are scary, man. He contemplates the horror that awaits him on shore. I don't hang out with witches, man, but clowns scare the hell out of me. They got that big feet. Hang on, huh? They all look sad, too. They're not happy. They're not very happy, they won't. <laughs> you don't trust them. You don't turn your back on a clown. I'll turn my back on a witch, but not a clown. In 
in Dutch Harbor. Just rolling into Dutch. That's a good feeling to see the city lights. Captain Sean Dwyer and the Brenna Hay arrive home after a successful season. It's been a long journey to get this boat back in the fishery, and now we're finally putting it all to a close. It's been a long time coming to get this boat out, get fishing, and uh, make this happen. And we kind of proved ourselves. The 23-year-old skipper returns as one of the top Paradise earners in the fleet. There it is. The dream coming to the top. And the only captain to be met by his mom. Mom's going to catch our line when we'll pass the trip for the season. Beautiful throw. Also, we to greet them, Sean's sister, and boat's namesake, Brenna. Hello. I don't know about you, but I'm really relieved. <laughs> Good closure for my mom. It's a family business. Without me, I think my mom probably had to sell it, and that would have torn her apart. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
to Captain Josh's leadership, the Cornelia Marie toasts a 491,000-pound Ophelia season and a $30,000 payout for each hand. But here's the here's the Josh finally taking the reins, leading her up, not hurting anybody, getting the boat back in one piece. Thank you guys. Thank you for all your hard work. thousand nine hundred fifty miles southeast in Seattle, Washington. Whoa. You silly dog! Come back here! They should be coming on like this. Out of the hospital, Captain C. Hansen waits for the Northwestern to return home. Last time I saw these guys, I was laying on a stretcher in Dutch Harbor. And I didn't realize what happened, when it happened. I didn't realize even after it happened that I had a, a heart attack. And uh, every day it's sinking in more and more. I feel lucky. I feel like I got a second chance, like a new lease on life. And uh, for that reason, I feel... Uh, Pretty doggone invigorated. The moral of the story, don't piss me off because I explode. That means you have to be nice to me, Nanny. Don't piss me Thank you. 